Hey there. This is a continuation of the watershed video that you guys just saw. Now I'm literally staying at the Continental Divide. This is Milner pa Pass. There's a sign just behind me here. You can see a lot of tourists taking photos and I took mine and you can see a link to that photo on our uh, Instagram page. Here is the actual divide. And I'm gonna go around because a car just parked there where I was showing here. I'm actually sitting here at the Atlantic side. So a raindrop that will fall from this storm that's about to come down will make its way all the way down to the Atlantic drainage basin and I think it flows to the Missouri River and eventually to the Mississippi River and then to the Gulf of Mexico so you guys can see here the drainage line that's what you're looking for when you're doing engineering design so the watershed concept is a very powerful concept that allows you to estimate how much water will actually reach your design, your point of design. So I'm using this great divide here as an example, but you guys will be dealing with maybe your county watersheds or your land development, your road design, whichever design you're making, think about the watershed and how much water is making its way through your engineering design place. If I turn my camera around and I'll try to give you a view here after that high point over there that's the Colorado Basin so that's the west side of the continental divide so water that makes its way that way from the thunderstorm that's coming up will go all the way to the Grand Canyon Colorado River and it will help supply water to more than 40 million people living in the west coast all right here it is 360 view of the continental divide at Miller Pass. And here's the storm that's just forming at the top of the Rockies. So here we kind of put together the entire water cycle, rainfall, watershed, runoff to both sides of the continental United States.